from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The National Weather Service will be in Pinellas County on Thursday morning to survey all the damage from a tornado. Wednesday's severe weather caused widespread damage in Pinellas Park and even destroyed a home in Polk County. But amazingly, we have not received any word of injuries linked to this storm. On Thursday, we could be on our way to having two COVID-19 vaccines. The FDA will vote on whether to recommend Moderna's vaccine for emergency authorization. This is similar to the process that played out just last week with Pfizer. A Tampa doctor will testify at the FDA advisory committee meeting. He also spoke before the group about Pfizer's vaccine as well. Meantime, more of our local health care heroes received COVID-19 vaccinations on Wednesday. Advent Health Tampa vaccinated 100 frontline workers starting Thursday and over the next few days, they plan to vaccinate nearly 3,000 more. Advent Health got the shipment of vaccines from Tampa General Hospital. TGH is one of five Florida hospitals and the only in Tampa Bay acting as a distribution site for the other health care systems in the area. Dennis? After today's damaging tornado across the area, things are beginning to wind down. And in fact, overnight skies will clear. And when they do, we're in for big changes, but much cooler air rolls in by later tomorrow and right on into the weekend. So overnight skies remain mostly cloudy, clearing quickly from north to south on Thursday morning. And then that chill in the air arrives with high temperatures only in the 60s on Thursday and again on Friday. So for the bus ride in temperatures under partly cloudy skies in the low 60s, only rising a couple of degrees in the afternoon. All right, thanks, Dan. Don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app.